Okay, now here's the review on the Range Rover Defender here on the Crew 2. Now this one's not a normal Range Rover Defender. This is the Range Rover Defender Works V8 70th Anniversary Edition. This is the same V8 you'll find out of the Jag F-Type and, ja and the Range Rover SVR. And it comes in the same bundle as this one, which is about 300k with the Season Pass and 400k without it, which is pretty cheap. Of course, I already have it fully upgraded, and there's no tune as I usually do. And this time, we're going to be using High Speed Drifter. Because I've been using the hell out of the Midwest Gold Trail one. And as usual, I'll go quiet and see you guys out on the track. Check your time, and then do something about it. to my thoughts of the Range Rover Defender. It, 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 I, I think it might be worse than the Jeep, honestly. It's not a real, it's not going to be a record holder. It's not going to be a PvP contender, especially if you're up against, say, the Ram Rebel TRX or the HX Concept. I mean, it may have something against the Fugo 3008, as long as they don't have nitrous claims. And it might have some against the Rally Raid Porsche, as long as it's not nitrous claims, but otherwise it's not really the best. I mean, it's a cool vehicle, don't get me wrong. I mean, even sounds cool. But, it's not very competitive when it comes to Rally Raid, if you're up against their people. Which I don't think you can do, I don't think you can do Rally Raid in PvP. But... All I know is it's not really competitive as in the record standpoint. So, would I recommend getting the Ranger or Defender? Yeah, because it's part of the same bundle that has the Jeep, and the Jeep is pretty damn cool itself, and is also better than this thing. But, if it's by itself, don't even bother with it. This thing's really not worth it by itself. But, I recommend getting in the bundle, because then you're able to get the Jeep and this for cheaper if you decide to buy them both separately. So, I recommend getting in the bundle, but is it worth getting by itself? Not really. But, that's all I really ha Oh, I forgot to mention that this thing doesn't have very much customization. It's just like the Jeep in that point. All you could do is change the wheels and change the color to brake calibers, and that's about all. 
But you can change the livery, change the paint, put V items and all that, but you can't put body kits or anything like that on it. But that's all I really have for today's video, and I'll see you guys later in the next video.